So I've been lucky enough to never be in need in my life. I'm 31, I have a well-paying job, and I don't have any kids or other responsibilities to take care of. And I think that as a result, I never really learned to value money or to be mindful in my spending. I don't budget, I don't really save, and I tend to buy a lot of things. So my question is, what's your advice to start building a more responsible and long-term attitude towards money and spending? All right, so Rachel, how... When we talk about being responsible with money, part of that has to do, sometimes we're responsible because we don't have, because we do have responsibilities, right? Right, We think, I have a family to take care of, I have kids to take care of, I want to send them off to college, I need to pay off debt, there are responsibilities, there's a mortgage that's hanging over my head. Um, And where Pierre is right now, he's like, well, I've got a lifestyle, but... um, it just sort of, I, he is, I, I, when he was asking his question, I just thought about a balloon that you sort of let go of mm. and it's just flying around the room from place to place mm-hmm. and that's how he's spending money right now. It's, it's uh, when I think of irresponsibility, money just goes here and it goes there. It's like that balloon. It has no particular direction. Yes. Mm-hmm. So what do you encourage people to do to be more responsible with their money? Yes, well, especially when there's not those responsibilities. He doesn't have kids. He doesn't have any of that. And so I'm like, you're in a really good spot, man. Like you get to do a lot of fun things still. Like you're going to have a lot of freedom, especially if you don't have debt. Like you're going to be able, like this is not going to be a hard gig for you. Like it's going to just take a little bit of changing your habits. And again, we keep going back to the budget, but that's like the foundation of everything I teach is I'm like, you have to be intentional. So I would say find things. So have these short term goals, five years or less of what you want to do. And this could be fun stuff. It could be, you want to maybe buy a new car with cash. Maybe you want to go on a great trip to Europe, like whatever it is, but have a goal because if you aim at nothing, you're going to hit it every time. It's that (laughs) quote, which I love. uh, And you're going to stay there that balloon and, and what what we're talking about here is you what you're saying is set up some responsibilities yes, for you and, have something in your life that you're shooting for and we think of responsibilities like sometimes it's this negative word like I, when uh ella our, my five-year-old daughter she like we have this chore list on on yeah. the on the fridge and each morning she has to make her bed and like but we think of those as negative things but your responsibilities don't have to be negative it can be here is what I am saving for and then understanding the why, which we talked about a moment ago. 